Hi, I'm James, and in today's video we are taking a look at this, which is the ASUS VivoBook A513EA. I have previously featured on the channel in a review. And what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how to upgrade this system's memory and SSD, along with some other bits and pieces while we are here. Now, to start off, what we're going to do is take our Philips size 00 screwdriver, and we are just going to remove the screws from the base. All the screws on this model are exposed. Uh, we have a total of 10, so two rows of three and a row of four at the front. Now, all the screws except this one here in the back centre are the same size. So uh, what I do is I just lay them out as I take them out in the same positions as they were removed from off to one side. Um, with those removed then, we are going to take our plastic pry tool. So to begin prying, what we want to do is have the machine so we are looking towards the back of it. So here you have the screen and hinge. And we're going to take our pry tool and basically get in here to begin lifting the base from the palm rest section um, basically down the sides and at the front are quite a tight fit and the easiest way of getting started on the chassis is from this angle so with that done we should see now we have opened up a gap at the hinges here and using that it's then much easier to get into the rest of the chassis. So having repositioned we can then get the pry tool in down this side and gently pulling does just help a bit here. So we go just sort of pulling up the top of the chassis here and working down the side and then the same on the other side so pull just very gently just to help lift the base up and then pushing the pry tool in just enough to disengage these clips down the side. This is one of the slightly trickier bases I've found in recent laptops I've looked at uh, just because they do seem to have quite a good fit between the, uh, the edges and the front of the base. There is, I believe, a little clip in the middle here, so we may, yeah. So once we pull up and disengage that, we then should find it easier to work along the front. And actually just pull the laptop base up then, and that will disengage the clips at the front. Once inside, our first job is to disconnect the battery. Now, if we only want to unplug the battery, then this is simply a case of, with this little metal piece here, gently push that upwards, and then using the pry tool, just lift the two edges of the battery connector. With that lifted up and unplugged, it is then safe to work on the other parts of the system. If we wish to remove the battery, then we have this bracket here, which is held in with three screws. With those removed, we can then lift up the bracket and remove it. And then with the battery itself, this is held in with a screw here. And another up here. Uh, 
with these removed we can then with these removed we then have to just peel back this tape covering connecting the battery to the fan for some reason peeling back that tape we can then lift the battery this is a B31N1842 type battery and simply lift and then just gently slot that out from under the Wi-Fi antenna so slot this in under the Wi-Fi antenna cable and then align like so we can then reposition this tape and refit the two battery screws with this bracket removed we can also see we have a connector here for a SATA hard drive um, so this laptop as standard came with a SSD not a hard drive um, so we get a M2 drive um, the the cable and um, rubber bracket for this drive are not included with the laptop, unlike some uh, manufacturers. However, they are available. Uh, I will list a link for the items along with the part numbers in the description below, along with other tools and parts that I have featured in this video. So if you want to um, add this second hard drive it would be a simple case of inserting a drive into the rubber bracket and attaching the cable and installing it into there unfortunately i don't have those with me right now in terms of what we can demonstrate upgrading however we have our four gigabyte memory module here so we can remove this uh, single SODIM. The other four gigabytes is however soldered to the main board, so we cannot replace that. So our options would be from going from uh, a dual channel uh, balanced four, uh, four plus four configuration to an unbalanced dual channel configuration. So say um, four plus eight, four plus 16 and so on. Um, anyway, installing these SODIM is very easy, so simply pull these two side clips, slot the dim out, and then to replace, slot in and press down. The SSD we can find here, and this is retained with a single screw, which we can undo as so. And then to remove this, we can then pull the drive out in its little, uh, little sort of plastic and co casing, and then simply slot it out and there is a sort of thermal sticker on this um, now a replacement this takes MVME type SSDs so if you're choosing to fit another drive you would probably want to just peel that sticker off and fit it onto your new drive as it is for now I am keeping this drive in here so we are going to slot it back into the plastic and return it into that slot making sure that these little flaps are overlapping as they were when we first removed them then we simply reinsert the screw and that is our SSD serviced as standard this laptop also came uh, with a Wi-Fi 5 uh, wireless network adapter. If we were to replace this with a Wi-Fi 6 module such as the Intel AX200 uh, then this would be a case of peeling back this little covering here and just putting this to one side to replace it in a moment. Then to release these two antennas we're just going to get our pry tool in underneath and we have a single screw holding down the module. We can then grip and just gently lift the Wi-Fi module before easing it out of its socket. To refit it, 
we then simply slot it back into place, reinstall the screw, and refit the two antennas. by lining them up and pressing down until they click into place. We can then simply put this bit of tape back into place to keep things looking standard. With all that done, we're then ready to reassemble the base of the laptop. So our first job is going to be to reconnect the battery and pressing that down and slotting the metal piece back into place. Pressing that down so that it overlaps. We're also going to reinstall this metal support bar. and refit the three screws into it. Then finally, we want to replace our base panel. We are going to press this down, starting at the front. and then press around the entire base of the laptop, reconnecting all the plastic clips. Also press in the center around here, just to ensure that center clip is also engaged. All that's left for us to do now is to refit the screws into the base, and we are done. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit like if you found this video useful, Subscribe if you'd like to see more as we post them and um, do of course check the description where I have links to those hard drive brackets should you wish to add one uh, as well as any components uh, that I would recommend for upgrading this system and tools that I use. Thanks for watching.